Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry has arrived back in Britain, ahead of his final official engagements as a senior royal. The Duke of Sussex, pictured at Edinburgh's Waverley Station wearing a baseball cap and jeans, will attend a travel conference promoting eco-friendly holidays in the Scottish capital tomorrow. Harry and wife Meghan will attend a series of events together, which will be their first engagements since they announced their intention to quit the palace and move to Canada. Next week, the couple attend the Endeavour Fund Awards on March 5th in London, while Prince William and Kate Middleton are in Ireland. Tomorrow, Harry is launching a scoring system telling tourists how eco-friendly. Whirlwind Return the traveler's scoring system will advise holidaymakers on how bad for the environment their flights are. There will be three themes, accommodation, aviation, and travel experiences. Meanwhile, there are fears within the royals that Harry and Meghan's high-profile return will steal the spotlight from the Cambridges. A senior source told LMT Channel, while William fully respects Harry's right to come back whenever he wants. Indeed, he is glad that he is returning, however briefly. He wishes that it wasn't at the same time as his Irish trip, because he knows what will happen, is that the spotlight as far as papers and TV are concerned will be fully on Harry and Meghan. Title Events as Senior Royals He recognizes that for the media, this will be the big stories. It's not that he and Kate would be jealous of all that coverage, they're simply not like that, but their tour of Ireland is an important one, and he would have hoped it would get due media prominence. Kate and William's trip to Ireland will be the first tour carried out by any member of the royal family after Brexit. And the source added, This sort of diary error would simply not have happened in the days before Harry decided to bail out of royal life. That's why members of the royal family have private secretaries and a grid system, similar to the government's method, to ensure that coverage of important events doesn't clash. It's a nightmare as far as staff are concerned, because there is no longer any control over Harry. He has nobody now working for him who has proper experience of the methods and protocol of the court system. Presumably, he is now relying on some flash he are person more used to the American entertainment world, more Hollywood than Windsor. The Sussexes will conduct a string of six engagements over 11 days, including Harry, meeting with John Bon Jovi to promote the Invictus Games. Although some unintentional crossovers have occurred in the past, royal author Katie Nichol revealed clashes were typically avoided by courtiers, to prevent competition between the Sussexes and Cambridges. She said, I think that's why couriers can avoid diary clashes they will, because they'll be keen to avoid any sense of competition between the couples. On Monday, Kensington Palace announced details of the trip to Ireland saying, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will visit Ireland from Tuesday 3rd March to Thursday 5th March 2020. This visit is at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Following lengthy Buckingham Palace talks, the Queen and senior officials have ruled the couple cannot use the words royals in their new roles as they step back from royal duties to start a new life in Canada. As part of the Mexit deal, Harry must ditch his honorary military positions for at least 12 months. They have been allowed to keep their HRH titles but have been forced to accept that they will not use them publicly as they tout for business around the globe. The Sussexes have already agreed to repay the $3 million of taxpayers' money used to refurbish their Frogmore Cottage home in Windsor and are expected to pay a commercial rent for it of about $39,000 a month. Another analysis. When they return from their six-week royal hiatus over the holidays, most people expected that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would have a new approach to royal life up their sleeves. 
The Sussexes had been open about the trials and tribulations that they'd endured in the spotlight. What we did not expect was Megxit. The world was stunned when the Duke and Duchess announced that they would be stepping back from their roles as senior working members of the British royal family in an effort to carve out a more peaceful and private life for themselves. Apparently, the duo had not informed the royal family before announcing the decision, which led to chaos upheaval. Though the Sussexes and the royals appeared to work towards a solution seamlessly, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's most recent announcement proves that things were much more dramatic than we thought. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were prevented from sharing Mexit details sooner. Though we know that the Sussexes' final date as working royals is April 1, the Duke and Duchess had hoped to share this and more details of their Mexit transition sooner. However, in a statement on their website, they made it clear that the royal family blocked them from further disclosure. We had hoped to be allowed to share these details with you sooner, to mitigate any confusion and subsequent misreporting, but the facts below should help provide some clarification around this transition and the steps for the future, they explained. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry never wanted to step away from royal life completely. Mexit was never supposed to be a total break from royal life, but the Sussexes were given no other option. The preference of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was to continue to represent and support Her Majesty the Queen, albeit in a more limited capacity, while not drawing on the sovereign grant, they stated. They also made it clear that they feel they are being treated unfairly considering other minor royals like Princesses, Eugenie, and Beatrice have been able to retain normal jobs while carrying out royal duties. While there is precedent for other titled members of the royal family to seek employment outside of the institution for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a 12-month review period has been put in place, their statement said. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are upset they've been banned from using Sussex Royal. The Sussexes spent a great deal of time and money branding themselves Sussex Royal. Now. After April 1st, they are being forced to rebrand, and they aren't pleased. They also say they could continue using the royal aspect of their brand if they really wanted to. While there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020, they said in a recent statement regarding Megxit. The trademark applications that had been filed as protective measures and that reflected the same standard trademarking requests as done for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been removed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are furious at the media. It's clear that the Sussexes blame the media for their exit, especially considering the hurtful racist and sexist coverage that Markle had to endure. She was villainized almost as soon as her relationship with the Prince was announced. They've made it clear the following makes it this won't be tolerated. The royal family respect and understand the wish of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to live a more independent life as a family by removing the supposed public interest's justification for media intrusion into their lives, they explained. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.